Hello there, Joseph Cavalieri here. I'm here to tell you about my latest series of paintings. I started oil painting on canvas in late 2019 and had a show at the studios of Key West in Florida. And this series I started in late January 2020. And it's now September 2020, so I completed 14 canvases. Uh, you might know me from my stained glass work. You might have been a student of mine or from the magazine industry I worked in in the past. I'm still teaching stained glass uh, painting and silk screening on stained glass classes. And this is my latest endeavor uh, here in New York City. So I'm going to tell you about the pieces. We'll just take a little walk around my studio. The first three pieces are based on the movie Ghost World, which came out in 2001. And the main character is Enid. Uh, in Japan, they made an Enid doll, all different colors, also in black and white, and uh, promoted the, the movie with those and actually added the more series of these plastic dolls after the movie came out and was so popular. The dolls have different color hair and skirts, but they're all having that major black glasses and I just found this totally adorable and I bought some of the dolls and I painted them. So these are oil paintings on canvas. They each measure 18 by 22 and because they have like a lot of pinks in the uh, color scheme of all three of them I decided to use a golden frame to make the pink actually pop out even more. Next, I have a piece that is a national kid tin toy that's down here. This is a wind up toy. Uh, I just love the uh, funkiness of them and the, especially the colors. So I actually tried to capture that three-dimensional feel of the tin toy and placed him on a very graphic background so his curves and his three-dimensionality would stand out. This is also measuring 18 by 22 and it's in a wooden frame painted white. The next featured painting is a Funko pop culture collection. Uh, Funko produces all these plastic collectors items and toys and each one is a different personality. So this one is Batman in his bat car. He's actually caught in a tsunami. The next is also Batman, but it's a blue face Batman. Very graphic background. And the third is a pink Batman, also with a very graphic background. So with all these, I really love the plastic and how it shines and reflects and just the fact that his head is so big and uh, just combining it in surprising ways on a canvas. Again, these all are 18 by 22, a wooden frame that's painted white. The next four pieces have the same background texture as the tin toy they, except as you can see, they measure 40 by 40 inches each. 
So these are based on New York City police cars throughout the ages. Growing up in New York, I saw some of these in person on the street. But actually this one was a little too early for me. This is a 1951 Plymouth Concord. And it was actually used on the streets here in New York. With all four of these pieces, my signature is the license plate. And again, they're very similar to the glossiness and plastic-like surfaces of the toys that I painted previously. But these are real cars, really used, really unique, uh, that were used here in New York City. With all four of these, I placed it on a very graphic background. So it actually looks like it's popping off the canvas. The next car is a 1986 Plymouth Grand Fury. And I actually remember these being on the streets in New York. Uh, with this, I added to the story I really love the story of Gulliver's Travels, where he's tied down by the little people in town. So actually, this car is being tied, tied back and trying to be slowed down by little people. Uh, again, my signature is in the license plate, but I wanted to create a more of a storyline with this piece, so you could see the uh, small people are trying to slow down the police. And I'll get in a little tighter here so you can see the details. The next piece is a car that was used in a TV series that was supposed to be located here in New York called Far Car 54, Where Are You? and it is a 1961 Plymouth Savoy. I also added little people trying to slow this car down. This car was not used on the streets of New York. It was just made, made up for the TV series. And I just loved how the colors pop and the reflections in the car itself. Last, but definitely not least, is my favorite, because I really like the style of this car. I love how the type was uh, printed on the front of the car. This is a 1971 Plymouth Fury. And I, I just I really was excited to paint this, paint this car. Uh, because I actually remember it being on the streets of New York and again I just really like the style of it. So this is my all-time favorite. And again my signature on the license plate. So all four of these are measuring 40 by 40. Uh, they're too big to be framed. And the last three I'm going to talk about now are based on a, well, actually the last four pieces are in a series that I'm calling Peace or Violence. So I think you should get, get that idea. The next three paces are based on a real plastic version of Batman and Robin called Space Flyman. And I actually bought these and painted them. So the first one is Batman in his, in his package with all the reflections. Again, these are 18 by 22 in a wooden frame that's painted gold. 
And one C when I open up Batman, you have him with his partner, Flyboy, who is in America, Robin. And I, again, I really just love the saturated colors and the reflections on these guys. And they're pudgy. <laughs> they're like pudgy Batman and Robin. I just saw them in the store and bought them and I was just like, I have to paint these. So that's the second one of the series of Space Flyman. And the third is this piece here. They all measure 18 by 22 with a wooden frame that's painted in gold. And this is the full figure of both Flyman, Space Flyman, and his partner. Alrighty, so that's the end of my talk. And I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to make more paintings and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, thanks for tuning in.